What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Dorian Yates might be the most hardcore trainer in the history of the sport. I'm sure all of us have seen blood and guts at one point or another for motivation. The intensity that Dorian Yates had during his workouts are unimaginable. And it wasn't just for the camera. Throughout his six years Mr. Olympia reign, he trained that way. One can argue that him training beyond failure was the biggest reason of him having multiple injuries. But he did what needed to be done to beat some of the best bodybuilders of all time. And that too for six consecutive years. It is kinda crazy that Dorian Yates at the age of 60 years can still perform such a heavy set of leg extensions with absolute perfect form. The 93 version of Dorian Yates, when he beat a near perfect flex wheeler, that was like the best version of Dorian to ever step on stage. And it was before he had any kind of bicep tear as well. So his physique flowed way better overall. So what was your favorite version of Dorian Yates? Really impressed by how Andrew Jack has kept himself accountable after the Arnold Classic this year. Because this is a guy who has been dieting straight for more than one year. From winning his IFBB Pro Card at the Arnold Amateur last year to placing third at the Arnold Classic Ohio this year, it has been one hell of a journey. So judging by his recent physique updates, it is clear that Andrew is very much onto the plan, bringing up his bag to a point where he becomes undeniable. Texas Pro is months away, but if Andrew stays in this kind of a body composition, chances are that we will witness an even better package this year compared to the Arnold Classic. No one can deny the potential that Andrew has. Although Nick Walker did beat Andrew at the Arnold, still he was more impressed by him than Samson Dauda. And he went on the record saying that if Andrew gets thicker from the side, he is gonna beat everyone. The head judge at the Olympia Steve Weinberger said that Andrew Judge is a potential Ronnie Coleman in making. So the expectations are very high regarding Andrew this year. A top 5 finish at this year's Olympia is very realistic for him and we all know he can place much higher. You guys saw Quentin next to the mutant Nick Walker a couple of days ago and here is a glimpse of him standing next to another Olympian, Brett Wilkin. That is more than 300 pounds in one frame. We all expect Brett Wilkin to be a completely different animal the next time he steps on stage which will be the Olympia in November. Because this will be the longest offseason of his career. And the way he has been grinding since his first pro win at the big man weekend last year, he will be improved in every aspect. But talking about Quinton. He is the most exciting potential coming up in the open bodybuilding next year. Because the thing is he chose to take 2 years off just to make sure that he isn't missing anything. And that is something we do not normally see very often. Taking 2 years off, that is a bold step. Quentin fits the criteria of a huge aesthetic bodybuilder. And that is what the judges have been looking for lately. So Quentin might not be there just yet, where he can be a potential top 6 Olympian. But in the future, he will be right there fighting for Mr. Olympia title. So hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.